Head reattachment complete. Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Ken and I just wanted to say hello to you, YouTube world. And I wanted to talk to you about a new project that my buddy Tom is working on. It's called Ribbit and Snibbit. And it's a story about this post-apocalyptic world where animals rule. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some pictures um, from... Uh, the concepts and uh, from uh, some a couple of uh, the new panels that just came in and uh, the cover so check it out he's going to be launching it soon uh, I believe on Kickstarter and uh, some other stuff so make sure to follow us on Facebook uh, I think he's on Twitter LinkedIn and make sure to share it with your friends all right talk to you soon Peace. Stop. hello 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 it is I, Count Olaf. Hey, what's happening, everyone? It's me again, Ken. And first off, let's jump right into it. Um, go to facebook.com slash ribbit and snibbit. And that's where, make sure to like that page. That's where you will get the most recent update on ribbit and snibbit. And here we have the cover. The Adventures of Rivet and Snibbit, The Outlander. Bum, 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 bum. And right here you can see the cover for the first book that uh, Tom is working on. And this is actually based off of uh, a story that he's been telling Olivia right there, um, his daughter, for so many years now. And this story just kept going and going and going. And I'm so glad that he's finally... Uh, turned the story into something that he could share with everybody in a form of a graphic novel. So here, the, basically the story uh, revolves around a future post-apocalyptic world where there, humans don't exist. We have ceased to exist. And the only ones that have survived are these cute little pond animals, which um, they're called the ponders. And they have survived inside uh, the safety rocks. And they actually don't know this yet, but they, they live in a, uh, I guess, like a military base. And um, things have happened there. And we don't know what it is yet, but we will soon. And they're actually, if you think about it, they, these creatures can talk to each other. So... Uh, Put that question in your mind how can these creatures why are they talking <laughs> it's a good question so they've lived peacefully inside these safety rocks until one day um, these weasels from outside their safety rocks come in and disrupt their whole way of living they've been sheltered for so long they didn't know creatures existed outside the safety rocks and um, the only animals have actually left the safety rocks are our main characters ribbit and snibbit and they're really not looked upon by the uh, ponders in a good light everybody thinks they're just slackers and lazy um, and then it comes down to it that they're actually the only ones that could help them um, in in their time of need <laughs> so let's go ahead and um Take a look real quick at the uh, Facebook page. Make sure to go here, like this page, and everything that I'm going to be showing you are already here. So um, we're just going to go through them briefly. So I think these are some of the initial. These are some of the initial sketches of the characters. They have a um, more child-friendly look here, and Tom's working with a uh, a great team from uh, I believe Transylvania um, he's working with them on the concepts design illustration coloring everything um, so very exciting stuff and if you notice um, actually notice all, a lot of these characters will have a slight uh, steampunk feel to them uh, which works well here um, because if you think about it it's post-apocalyptic era Everything's been destroyed. There's a lot of living in a military base. There's a lot of uh, trucks, you know, airplane fuselage, things that, you know, there's a lot of things that have happened in the hundreds of years. Um, 
since this big question mark why is why why are they alive and you know where where did the humans go so there's a lot of things that have happened from that time or in that time and um, these animals have survived and they've created the community on top of all the destruction all the damage things like that so we've got here one of the characters see he's got his cool little hat there who doesn't love a cute little hat with a uh, a playing card up there <laughs> and here we've got the initial sketch of a, a cottage a little pond area here and here is a silo so that's pretty cool that's something that'll be revealed um, in one of the episodes they discover this uh, silo and all the technology inside of it okay here's one of the initial um, concepts for the cover you've got owl here and our main character is running from something our cover final cover a different um, angle here there's a lot of things going on the explosion um, there's a water splashing there. There's a dam. And uh, the bad guys of the moment chasing our characters here. Uh, okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Initial character studies for the weasels has a more of a realistic look to them. Character studies for our frogs. Here we've got the mayor of the town, Badger. Puffing on his little pipe right there. And that's, uh, I think that's Badger's brother, Snadger. You'll notice something with the names, Badger, Snadger, Ribbit, Snibbit, Owl, right here, and Snowl, his brother. <laughs> He's kind of the teacher of the village. We've got Raccoon and Snackoon. Raccoon runs the local tavern. Everybody kind of just hangs out there after a good day's work. Here we've got Blue Jay. And Tom always ups, updates the uh, Facebook page with new content. So if you guys want to follow that, um, it's a good way to do it. We got Rabbit. And Rabbit's more of the tech guy of the town. He's working on a new steam technology that'll revolutionize the way of life. Cool goggles there. Rabbit. Oh yeah, cool. Here we have um, some of the environments here. As you can see, uh, we have a air airplane fuselage on top of another, and they've just kind of built on you know their house around it. And that's pretty much a majority of the at least the um, the village environment. That's kind of how they lived. Because remember, this is they've survived for hundreds of years, um, and probably have a lot of questions how that happened. But if, in time, those will be answered. There's a really, really cool backstory with um, with this with this uh, characters, and we'll just have to wait for Tom to get to him to tell us how it's happened. Here we've got raccoons, uh, little tavern, and it's actually a back of a truck that's crashed into a wall. Here are some uh, color. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. It's like a tree house we've got here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just cool to see the uh, evolution.
Okay, Tom just uh, posted a couple of the um, the pages here. He actually posted, I think, four pages. So the first four pages, and soon to be colored. So it's coming along real well. So it's. Uh, I hope you guys uh, go to the page, support it, support the project. And um, Tom is working as well, uh, tying in with this project is a foundation that he's working on that will help uh, special needs children. So um, it's all for good cause. So like the page, uh, follow it, and share it with your friends. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out my page, which is facebook.com. Oops, that's not me. Facebook.com slash rabbleboy. Or you can follow me at Rabbleboy on Twitter. And um, I just post a lot of stuff that, you know, is interesting to me. Uh, like this one right here. It's a new um, new magazine that just came out underneath the juniper tree. It's the 2013 summer issue. We just released it today. And it's, it's a lot of uh, cool artwork tied in with um, very creepy horror stories for kids. So you should really check it out. It's got a lot of um, macabre horror stories that are um, kids-friendly. And uh, so if you're into that, there's a lot of cool stuff there. And um, the anthology is also out, which um, has a lot of the best of the best. So make sure to check that out. So go to facebook.com slash rabbleboy, rabbleboy.com, or at rabbleboy on Twitter. So thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Peace out.